I am Takur. Greetings. How are you today? Oh, very well. I'm surprised to hear from you again, Takur. Greetings. Yes. I just heard that someone wants an update on the colonies. They are very doing very well. And the healing colony, Colony 6, is working out very well. There should be galactic healing classes coming later this year. They have discovered that there are some galactic methods that work very well for humanity and those on Earth. Therefore, we will be training it as well as some of the features of other different kinds of Reiki as well. The new Reiki, the Aquarian Fire Energy Healing, is also very beneficial and will be trained very shortly. Are there questions about the colonies? There is. Liney, would you like to go first? Yeah, please. Hi, Kit Takar. Hello. Liney, I Hi cannot there. hear you. Hello, there you are. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hi, how are you? Wonderful. Yeah, brilliant. Um, yeah, I, I really wanted um, to know about the weather. Um, in the UK, we've had like virtually non-stop rain. Um, yes. And, and also, there's that. And also, there's um, something about the jet stream I've read recently that um, they say, they're they saying that the jet stream is going to be changing or it start changing, moving. Yes. Your jet stream is in an unusual pattern. And because of the way that the energies are going to be hitting your planet, jet streams will change. Now, there are energies from the galactic center, also energies from other portions of the solar system, and now the fourth dimensional energies. This will all change jet streams. Um, if you are noticing, weather around the world has changed. There are many states of emergency in the United States area and Canada and Mexico. There are many different things happening that are causing extreme weather problems. Also, there are fires and other things that are also working on the topography of your world. Now, the rain that you are experiencing is due to the jet, jet stream change. And the jet stream change will only make things a bit worse, unfortunately. There will be areas that were once wet that are going to be very dry, and once areas that were very dry that are going to be very wet. And other areas that were in between that will be affected in other ways. It is hard to say now at this point how all things will be affected. But as we have charted out the world at this time, most places will be much drier than wetter. This is going to be a problem for crops and growing. So therefore, we have understood this and are working on a solution that might bring more rain to some areas that will be without it. Okay. Um, to care, I just had um, one other question, actually. I, I was interested to know how this um, EU vote um, affects yourselves um, with, with, in regards with like, relationships with this planet. It does not affect us at all. But it does affect your planet. Your financial systems are eventually going to collapse, and this will be part of that. This will be actually a positive, it is actually, as we see it, a positive thing for the eventual collapse of the economy. It okay. It takes away its alignment, and believe it or not, the more countries that are aligned together, the stronger the economy is worldwide. You will find more nations that will want to either drop out or will collapse on their own. 
one by one, there are certain key factors. Once certain particular countries collapse financially, the rest of the earth will have to follow because they are indebted to these countries or the countries are indebted to them. China, Greece, United States. They are three of the major ones. So, so this was like part of the plan then, the, you know, the, the start of this? It is not part of our plan. L has made the plan many hundreds of years ago, obviously. But yes, it is part of a plan that we will see how it works. Okay. Th thanks, Takur. Love you very much. I love you very much as well. There does seem to be a density in the atmosphere here. However, I am much better at this moment. Is oh, there any other questions yes, pertaining we do to the have. colonies? Michelle would like to have a question with you, please. Michelle. Much, much love, Ticker. Michelle, how are you? I, I am doing very well, thank you. Excellent. Um, and you? I am also well. I'm glad. Um, you know, I actually haven't had or thought about the colonies in a, lo in a long time since I found out about them. I, I was wondering maybe if it would be appropriate for Tikar to for you to reiterate what each colony was and did. And oh yes, absolutely. That's a good idea. And much th many things have changed at the colonies. Nina, I don't know if you remember Nina. She was the original colony master. She is back. She had many official businesses to do, and now she is back as working in the colonies. Colony one is the tele telepathic colony and also works with galactic languages. Colony two is for health, exercise, diet, and things of, your, of keeping the body in a good state. Colony 3 is the video colony, where many have been asked to do interviews or many have done films that will help humanity understand what, who and what our agendas are in the astral and in the alien states. We, are, we have done hundreds of thousands of hours of films at this point, and many of them are tucked away in your internet areas, and when they are found, they give explanations to some of the things that are happening on your planet and some of the information about us as individuals. These things that are found are usually not found by those that are searching for alien information, but will find it anyway. Colony number four is the channeling colony. On the channeling colony, we help people to open their channel systems and to uh, use them in the proper manner and bring that information back to their planet. We are also helping them to discover who it is and uh, that they are going to channel and why the purpose is for their channeling in this world. Colony 5 is a recreational colony. It is there for those that are are frightened by aliens who need a rest from learning anything from the other colonies or just want to go there to talk or interact with people that they know on the colonies. Also interact with their friends that are alien. Colony 6 is the new colony which is the healing colony. It, it has all kinds of energetic healing, including acupressure and acupuncture. Reiki, Holy Fire Reiki, Qigong, Joe Ray, many, many other things as well. There are many kinds of healing formats that we are using. Yoga is one of these as well. 
But if you go there, you may participate in getting a healing or participate in the yoga classes, or you may teach or become part of a healing. This is up to you. Excellent. So thank you for that description. I am curious to know, as I do not recall the majority of my dream time, if I spend any time there um, in the last six months. Yes, you have spent some time on the colonies in the last six months. And but you, used, you chose to go to Colony 2 for health, exercise, and diet. Sometimes I do that before I go to sleep because I'm not exercising enough here. <laughs> and also you have gone for different things. You went to Colony 4 in January for channeling, and you also went to Colony 4 in March for channeling. Colony 1 you went to in February for telep telepathic and languages. And we but just you have, have not been there recently. You have not had a desire to go. Yeah, I would. Um, so if I intend, is, is that really the only thing I need to do is intend to show up? Um, if you ask us to go, you will go. Okay, sweet. Um, and I was, was my healing that you helped with, was that also in conjunction with the uh, Colony 6 that you and Dan worked together on? No, recently? this was something that okay. was not part of any of the colonies. Okay. Because there was something different about it. Okay. Colony 6 does not deal with ex uh, negative entities. Okay. Thank you so much. I love you. Take care. I love you as well. Hello, Takur. Guru Dan. Oh, I have member questions for you. Of course you do. Um, I'm not quite sure where to start. There's so many. They're kind of all over the place as well. Let me address Marco. Uh, for a moment, from Portugal, uh, an island, Madeira Island. He's Very applied well. for. Uh, it says he's uh, applied for Fendorian DNA infusion, and if it was yeah. allowed, and if it started, and how much did he receive, and what is the level of his frequency? And I'm not quite sure what that question is, or maybe he's asking what the level of the DNA infusion is. I'm not sure. There are. I can answer both. Okay. But. Yes, he did ask for Fandorian. The first thing that will happen is that it is put into the DNA, and the second thing, it will be activated. At this point, he is at about 80% of the infusion portion, and it has not begun to be activated yet. When it is begun to be activated, which will be in two days, he will start feeling his Kundalini activate a little bit which is to say that the shock wars will be brightened. The appetites of the body will also be enhanced, such as hunger for food, sexual appetites, and things of that nature. But it will only last a short period of time. But this will refresh all the chakras. Also will give more clarity of mind, and it will also help with memory retention. Thank you so much, Tucker, for addressing that. I'd also oh. like to address uh, JD's questions. Even though they're somewhat more personal nature, it's important because other people have these questions as well. And um, he says, um, I can speak many different languages from my heart. I want to know what more languages I'm speaking in my latest channelings. I know I'm speaking my father's old language and my mother's. So he, yeah. has, he has that going on, but then he, he kind of adds a second question, and he says, can it help us as humans to exercise a meditation to allow sound of different kind to come through and out from our speech, to allow everything that feels in the moment to simply just come out as it wants? The sounds, of course, can be silly and sometimes sounds out of this world, but to just allow what wants to come out, also allowing any language to come out flowing in the ways of the moment. And yes. Let me explain. Okay, thanks. These sounds are vibrations of the soul. They are coming out and they are changing the world around you. 
they are some some will interact with things others of these sounds will interact with people but these are sounds that are necessary to come out of the system you are expressing yourself in a nonverbal way but it is also a form of channeling these vibrations can come from outer portions of the galaxy and the universe as well so yes express these languages and these sounds of course you know about the Hathors that are in charge of the toning sounds that Sarah and others have become accustomed to and are using to heal the waters and the earths of the world therefore do not stop them they are actually very helpful to the atmosphere you see music and sound are very spiritual and can be used as such when you're doing these sounds and letting them out intend them to be positive and intend them for a positive change yeah that that's kind of the the answer for everybody if you have a sound if you are somehow guided to make some kind of utterance let it out anytime you have something in that wants out just let it out no matter what it is and that helps your flow and it helps get that energy out and available the, the anytime you have something and also in, yes also but, there are times when the sound that you are making and producing and feel that you need to release is helping a particular stone rock piece things that you may not understand to have sentience like a piece of furniture or something of that nature can also be affected by sound and also people so therefore you are helping the world around you in some way when you're spontaneously reacting to the sounds and giving them out yeah I have a sound I have a sound I make with my throat it's just like a purring it's just a and sometimes it's just like if I'm out somewhere I'll just go because something wants it I don't know why <laughs> it just <Yeah. laughs> something wants it so if it's a benefit I just let it out sometimes just to and I've, I've learned to actually That's talk with it. Uh, I call it talking underwater. <laughs> but anyway, it's, excellent. I, I don't know what's going on over there? <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Then just let it out. You know, it's kind of silly sometimes. It's goofy and it's fun. But sometimes it just wants to come on. So, okay, whatever. <laughs> let it out. It is a galactic language as well. So, therefore, part of what you're doing relates to a galactic language yeah I wondered that because it's been wanted to come out a lot more and it uh, it's being connected with some uh, some grunts and, and things and it just wants all kinds of neat throat interesting things it wants to wants to do so I imagine that's something that's far I'm falling into an alignment with I think many are I think a lot in the group are uh, uh, approaching the languages and other things and weird sounds. So if you have a sound that wants out, basically just let it out. So the, I, I know when I was answering JD in, in his text, he says, "Yeah, but I want you to ask the question live." And I said, "Well, I know the answer is already yes. <laughs> you know that the blanket answer is yes all the time. If you have a sound that wants out, let it out." Yes. And there are vibrations to each sound that affect different things. Now, if there is a constant sound that you would like to leave out, if something like an ohm would come out, this affects the energy of all things in the room, all things that are around, and brings everything into one vibration, and so, so that you become one with it. This is another beautiful thing. I know many use the ohm sound to bless their food with uh, as yes. they, before they this eat. This helps so. it to digest better because it's already part of your vibration. Yeah, that's, The ohm sound is actually the, the language of the sun, which has been interpreted long ago by earthlings in the Buddhist temples and in the Zoroastric society. Wow, that's very interesting. That's good to know. Let me approach some of the uh, hybrid children questions. Um, I have a question from Sam. 
wants to know if any information can be given about the young hybrid child that he saw in his meditation some days ago that floated in front of a house. Was there a purpose to the message that she might have for him? And what is her name, he's asking. Do you know any information on this hybrid child? One moment, please. Where are you? Where is he? That's Sam. He's in Arizona, uh, southern Arizona. I think around Phoenix is his geographic yes. location. Home for many. There is, uh, there is a home for hybrid children there. One moment. Ah, just the child wanted to make itself known and to him because they are interested in becoming friends. Also, there is a, some sort of attachment there as well. There is an attachment of some sort that is closer. It's more... Uh, it could be his own hybrid child. I am not certain at this point. The name of the child is Krakasa. Thank you for that. I have a question from Ra Indigo. Could you please elaborate on the blue feline cat being I saw in my dream? Where do they come from? I believe the being is a female, and she was very friendly, smiling. Is this some kind of blue lyran? Did the raw indigo experience? Can you elaborate, please? If it was blue, it was not lyran. Uh, the lyrans are usually brown, tan, black. Uh, their fur is usually in a more neutral color. The blue cat species are from... Uh, Kelsa 5. Kelsa And they five. are far, far away. But very friendly species. And uh, fourth dimensional as well. Okay. Well, so I am surprised. I did not even know that they were in this area at this time. But they might be protecting themselves from Kelsa 5. Okay. Well, were they bringing Ra Indigo a particular message? Or they were just saying, hello, we're connecting? Or... Can you add I, I do not know. I will have to find out from them. We okay. could communi I could communicate with them, but at this point I do not know what the message is or the name of the being. Okay. Our friend Shin, our friend Shin, member Shin, wants to know if he's been to the colonies lately. Do you see him on your check-in list? Shin. Of late? Yeah, you remember Action. Shin. Yes, yeah. I do. Shin came to Colony 3. They ask him to do a video for, in his language, so that it could be used throughout that area of the world. And yes, it was just in May that he was here last. And he was on Colony 3, and he chose to go to the Healing Colony also to check it out. Okay. Might you know when Shin might be returning? Because I feel that's a question. Is that something that he might be yes. able to know? Yes, he is coming in July. In again. July, so sometime later this month. That's wonderful. 20. Let me ask Senga or Sengi. The 27th. 27th. Okay, so later in the month. Okay, awesome. Oh, Sam is also asking. So back to Sam again. If he's been to the colonies lately, yes. Um, some information. Yeah, I already asked about. He was uh, in. He was in the colonies in June, and he was in uh, the colony one actually, and colony four. Okay. Excellent. Thank you for that. Slav is asking uh, request about the leader and daughter. That there's such an opportunity, happy for the Lyran daughter, and any information uh, for him and his mom. So Slav yeah. is asking some things. Yes, his mom has a, a Lyran son, I think. Awesome. Okay. And Can, he has a Lyran daughter, yes. And oh. her name is Pankashi. No, Pankashi. I'm really going to have to have Slava have some private time with Jim so that he can talk to Ish and you if we can help set that up 
because he's been reluctant uh, lately to, <laughs> to say hey. Um, Very well. This one is from yeah. Teresa. She says, hello to Kerr, wondering if there's any messages from her spirit guides. Has she been to the colonies this year? Thank you and good day to you, friend. I would have to get in touch with your spirit guides to know this. However, you have been to the colonies, but not recently. It was the beginning of May, and you did go to Colony 1, and you stayed there for quite a while. Okay, so that was for Teresa. Okay, so any messages from her guides as well, or just... I, I, do not, I cannot attach okay. to the spirit guides right now. Okay, and that's okay. And I think that's kind of everybody for the moment Very well. that, that's caught There's up. There's much. Yes. There's so many questions. It really, for, folks are going to have to uh, email Jim with some of their questions just to uh, stay up on top of things. And I know Valerie has some questions for you as well. And maybe when Valerie's done, uh, people in your room there too. So, Valerie, you want to step up and catch up? Sure, thank you very much, Dan. And we appreciate everyone's questions. They're all very important and very informative. Anyways, my question is, do, can you please answer how we can use color and sound together for healing? Do we use specific oh, colors for specific question. ailments? Yes. You see, the chakras are have color attachments to them. And so you can use color to brighten chakras and heal because when using different colors you can use them for healing sound is also important because it changes vibrational the vibrations in the room in the air in the person and so if you are guided by spirit to use the color and vibration which is sound also then you may do healing work with them. Now, there are many different ways to use them. You can attach sound to color in the sense that if you're picturing a certain color and spirit is guiding you with a sound tonality, it could be attached to different things. Let me give you an example. Green is a heart color, but it is also a calming color. It's also a health color. So you may be toning with the color green and it could be um, per perhaps affecting the heart the relaxation responses and the healing of an individual green can also be used in other ways as well to brighten the chakra just as the green color brightens the heart chakra so therefore if you attach the vibrations and the and the colors together they can be helpful now, keep in mind that a lot of people use colors that are not chakra colors. In between colors, such as light greens, or, or a mauve, or different colors, these can also have different effects on different people. And I could t teach a class on how the colors work with different people in healing modalities and also with the vibrations and sounds that can go with those particular colors or if spirit leads there can be other ways to use them as well but they, it is endless oh that um, is wonderful um, I guess then I would love to request that I could attend that class at some point if that's possible there well there is not one planned but now that I know that there is an interest, we will see what we can do. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time and your, your answers. Um, are, you. Is your host thirsty at this point? Of course. Oh, could we please get him a drink? Ah, yes, thank you. Welcome. That is sufficient. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. We must keep the host in good shape so that we can speak with you. Now, is there anyone in your room there with you that would like to have a question with you? I do not know. Could we please ask? Is there anyone here? No? 
Yeah, I could walk a tea shoggy. I'm wondering, have I been to the colonies? Erica, yes. is it that correct? Right. Erica, you have been to the colonies at the end of May, May 28th. I remember because you had some questions about channeling. You were in the channeling area, and you want you were very interested in some of the things that you felt in your in your thought process that you were actually channeling some things to people and to in at different times. And the answers we gave you were yes, it was. But your channeling is coming along and will be used in a greater way in the future. There is no way to push it really. So therefore just relax into it and let it happen. And it will it's it is coming. It is soon. Of course, soon is a relative word. And that uh, let me put it in a better way, within a few months. Okay. okay. Um Carolina or Carolina has a question if she may. Hello. Hello, Tika Muha. Muha, Yachi Kopwata. Ah, Kushata Yatuwa. Ha 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 Okay. But it is very understandable and very humorous. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Tika, I wanted to send a message out to uh, all my hybrid children that um, yeah. I love them very much and that I'd love for them to contact me if they can. Yes. They will be in contact. And they have been in contact. It's not always that... Uh, you can hear them. The yeah. earth energies are very disturbing at times. Yeah. And also, I would like to, to know if, if there is any messages for me in terms of uh, my healing or channeling or languages. Yes. You've been really awakened recently. There is a lot of things going on with you. You might not be aware of it, but you are, your vibration has risen quite dramatically within the last couple months. That Brilliant. is all I can tell you for now. Okay, thank you so much. I love you. I love you as well. Hello. Okay. Oh, I'm okay. sorry, go ahead, Sher. Sher was going to have a question, but if you have something more pressing, Dan? No, let's share. I'll go after Sher. Hey, Sher, how are you? I am fine. And you? I am uh, fine as well. Are you still working it with the horses? I'm going to finish this week. I'm going to train another. And then we will see from there. Do you see any see. opportunity for me? I see other opportunities. But continue in your question. Um, I was wondering, uh, I know that humans have 12 strings of DNA. And for most humans, only one or two strings are opened and activated. Yes. Is that correct? I am not aware that you have that many strands. But you have two. Some humans are now approaching three. There are those that have a third strand that is not completely connected. There are beings in, in other species that do have 12 strands of DNA, but most do not have that many. Most humans have two. Hmm. I know that there are 12 and only two are opened. Yes. They are, since they are not open, they are not considered strands, but something else. Ah. Okay. I was wondering how many do you have? Open. We have three. Ah. Okay. I see. And... Did I recently visit the colony? Yes, of course you did. You were in several different areas. Actually, you did a training for galactic understanding in one of the classes. 
because you've been to several different planets in Remulac space, there is many who want to hear about it, and in your subconscious, when you come to the colonies, it's all exposed, and you give much information about these things. Hmm. Nice. Okay, that's all my questions for today. Uh, much love to you and many thanks. Okay. You are welcome. Well, much we appreciate thanks. your time so much. If you have a blessing that you might put, oh. give to us before you... Oh, may, may I ask a question, oh. though? Go ahead, Wendy. Oh, thank you. Hi, it's occur, it's Wendy. Hi, Wendy. How are you? I'm very excited that you're here today. Thank you so much. I just wanted to send my love to all the hybrid children. I feel as if I haven't been able to spend as much time with them lately as I'd like to. Yes. I have been I doing the signing for the children. Thank you. I wanted, I'm so happy you guys brought up about the color and I feel as if we've been working on that a little bit with the languages and the color and the healing and I would love to be able to learn to teach that as well. Yes, there are many things you could have a very long class on color and sound integration. Yes, and there I was are wondering many if you could speak. Though, yes. I was just wondering if you could mention just a little bit about the effect of the galactic languages in the, in the healing respect. Galactic languages can be very healing in the sense that they br bring about word combinations that do not exist on your planet and have very high spiritual resonation. So therefore, when you speak spiritual of uh, galactic language and are intending for healing, there are phrases and words that do not exist on your planet that are used in these healing modalities. Therefore, you are uh, being healed by the vibration of some of these words, and spirit is reacting to the meanings of them as they are aware of them. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Thank you. And the sign you language is that... The, you, oh, you are one who does control some healing galactic languages, and you use them very well. Thank you. Thank you, Jakar. And with, the, with that said, the sign language as well, is that part of that healing transmission? It can be for children. They understand the sign language. Some of them do not speak uh, English, and so they have to have it interpreted. But if I yeah. send out a signal to them, they can understand the sign language and understand what portion it is that I am sending to them. Thank you very much for that clarification. Um, several of us recently have been experiencing what we feel is perhaps we're together in our dream state. Is it? Are we at the colonies together, or or are we somewhere else, or is something you come else to happening? astral. You can be in astral together and not be at the colonies. But yes, you do meet at the colonies and have many conversations. When you do meet someone that you are happy to see, you usually go to colony five and have a conversation before you start classes. So yes, but there are other places in astral that you do meet. There are era for one place and Maya for another. Maya, I've been getting that name a lot lately. Could you um, elaborate on that for me? Maya is a Pleiadian planet as well. It is, a uh, great, okay. it is an important planet. Uh, they are starting to interact with Era a lot more. Ken Jean, the king of Era, is aware of all the different things that are happening on Maya at this time. And so, therefore, they are coming together more often. Ah, uh, okay. I feel as if I've been there or that I've been connecting with them or speaking their language or something. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, I thought so. Thank you. Thank you, Chakra. I love you. Thank you so much for your work and your help and your assistance with all of us. And 
Hello, Tucker. Hello, Christine. How are you? I am delightedly wonderful. Can I, <laughs> can I ask you, is there a specific being I could ask for assistance when I'm um, working with the animals? One moment. There is a being that is around you a lot when you are working with the animals. It is a Yu Yil, a very small young gentleman. He is younger, uh, only about 30 year, year, years old in human age, but his name is Korshan. Oh, I have a problem with remembering names. So can He's I just... There, but call him... Well, what would you rather be called? He will give him a human name, and he will respond to that. Oh, I, I, I would forget. I forget my fish's names. Um, how about if I just picture him, or just picture I need assistance? Will that be enough? Yes. Just say out loud, "I need some assistance," and he will be there to help you. Great. Thank Is you. The, if you listen to this broadcast again, his name is Corshin. And if you want to give him a human name, you may do so. He is totally open to that. Okay, so it's K-O-R-S-H-E-N? That is correct. <laughs> okay. Blessings to Kerr. Blessings. Hello to Kerr. I would like to try to finish up the events page. <laughs> um, from member of the higher mind? I forget yes. his name. He would like to know who is guiding him during his projects that he started recently when he was working on helping on guiding people towards their authentic self. Are there any blockages in his moment that are keeping him from contact with these entities? He feels like he has a Pleiadian connection. Can you help Member there, is a Pleiadian, there is a Pleiadian connection that is helping him, yes. I do not see any blockages unless he puts them there himself. There is none from the outside. What other question was there there? Um, oh, you've already answered if Sam has gone to the colonies. Yes. Let me just scroll through quickly. I was just checking to see if there was any blockages and I lost track of the question. Yeah, okay, no, just, um, David is wondering what does it mean to go to the colony and do you go there in physical form, and I tried to explain to him it's mostly astral, but could you go into yes. just a quick detail okay. about Your that? astral body goes to the, the colonies. We come to you, you agree to come, or you do not agree to come. We ask you if you want to come in a particular time in your sleep, it usually is a two-hour period, which is seemingly about five days here, but only two hours on your earthly plane, because you live it differently here than you would. It's fourth dimensional here. But yes, you go in astral form, and so therefore it is not a physicality. We are working on bringing humans physically to the colonies, but it has not been approved by your governments as of yet. Okay. From member Karen, uh, she says, Hi, Tucker, I've applied for Lyran and Yael DNA. Could you please tell me if it was accepted? Karen Gregorian? I don't know if you have that information available to you right at the moment well, or not. Sengi does. Just a moment. All right. She's been approved for both, but Pleiadian will be first. Oh, okay. So she's asked for Lyran and Yael, but she's going to get Pleiadian first. Okay. Yes. They think that she will get all three, yes. 
Okay, perfect. Slava is asking for a bit of clarity. Uh, Slava asked, Takur said that I have a Lyran daughter. Is that correct? Because he felt so yes. in his heart. Okay. Yes, it is correct. Carol would like to thank you for the healing protecting for the, the healing and protection uh, that you've done with her. She wants to give gratitude and thanks. Very well. She is. It is greatly appreciated. Your thanks, and we so much want to give healing. There are many miracles out there that have been performed. God has been good. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'd like to thank everybody who uh, posted their questions. I tried to get to all of them. If I missed, I'm sorry. Um, Valerie, do you... Ha oh, had Valerie stepped out? I believe that it is time for us to close. Should all I give right. a prayer? Would you please? Thank you. One moment. Girakwa sansun chikwati India tatu kwo no wahashu Satiti wa nemwa a Oko chichwa Mia keshu kwasha Chichwati njutarawata India kwatu No hashu tiki Tetriata Undia kwa and chiku shindia fa The interpretation would be, I will paraphrase it, may God be with you every day, in every moment, and may you realize that he is there for you, so that you may utilize his strengths and powers in each moment of each day. Be of love and kindness and goodness to one another, and do not be harsh. Find a way to get through the day in a most positive way and be thankful that God is working with you. We give him thanks, we give him praise, and we give him honor. Thank and that you. would be it. Thank you, Tucker. May we bring Jim back, please? Yes. Namaste. Thank you, Tucker. Namaste. Namaste. Get your